Dr. Roxy, as she's known online, shares the behind the scenes videos of her procedures. But three lawsuits accuse her of mistreating her patients. So I found Dr. Roxy through um, Snapchat. 2022, where people find doctors through social media. The number one way that a patient finds a plastic surgeon today is through social media presence. Amber Runyon says she wanted to go to Dr. Catherine Roxanne Growey in Powell after seeing her videos on social media. Her vibe and energy and the way she made you believe um, she was invested in our patients and their outcome. Amber says that the glimpse behind the scenes helped make up her mind. Couldn't wait to get on there to watch, you know, the surgeries for the day. Um, it showed you details step by step of everything. I felt like I was extremely prepared for these surgeries. Runyon went in for the mommy makeover, a procedure that includes breast surgery and a tummy tuck. The top and just some extra skin from having kids on the stomach. But within 24 hours, she had complications. My drains were not working in the recovery house. I told them my drains weren't working. So again, no fluid is coming out. They told me just work with it. It'll be fine. So I'm not using any of my drains, so everything's just backing up. Runyon says despite her concerns, a nurse practitioner said. Told her I wanted to go to the emergency room, and she advised me do not go to the, the hospital. Uh, one of my clients uh, suffered multiple bowel punctures uh, while that was occurring. Ultimately ended up having surgery and part of her uh, bowel removed because of the uh, puncture. Attorney James Arnold doesn't represent Runyon, but other patients of Dr. Growey. He says one of his clients was also instructed not to call 911. So your belief is that if your client didn't decide to go against the um, recommendations from Dr. Growey's office, she could have died? Uh, very much so. The state medical board suspended Dr. Growey's medical license last week. The board found the surgeon did not provide written discharge instructions to one patient and found that another had to undergo further treatment at a hospital following a surgery. The board also found concerns with the doctor's repeated use of social media. Records state by taking video of procedures, the doctor's focus was on the camera, not the patient. Board members saying, quote, Dr. Growey's continued practice presents a danger of immediate and serious harm to the public. As for Amber Runyon, she was out of work for two months, can't stand up completely, and she's having to pay to have additional surgeries. I thought she was the best because that's how she made me feel. And I wish I would have dug a little deeper. I tried calling Dr. Roxy's office multiple times and this morning stopped by her office, but they declined to comment. But today, the state board says she has 12 more days to request a hearing on her license suspension. Now, many may be wondering, where do you find a doctor that is reputable and trusted? Well, I spoke to a local surgeon about that, and he warns against using social media as your main tool for finding a trusted physician. And the problem with social media is that there really has been no regulation by either the local state or even the federal level on what is presented. Instead, Dr. Robert Hauser, who you just heard from, says do your research. You can go to the aestheticsociety.org where they have board certified plastic surgeons for guidance. You can ask referrals and also ask your doctor questions before any procedure happens. In Columbus, Ashley Bornanson. 10 TV News.